Hi, this is Tori at the Cry Base in Kyiv, and we've had a very full day here. Part of the team bagged up about 400 bags of groceries and other items to give away to refugees and those in need. A lot of the people in the area are older people who couldn't get out. Um, they call them babushkas. It's a term of endearment, meaning an older lady. A lot of them are by themselves, and so they need groceries and things. And then there's those who's lost their jobs and others who really just need some help. And so they were able to get those bags ready for that. Another team went out into the city and we took bags of food to people at apartment complexes, a couple different ones. We also went to a veteran's home and were able to take bags to the veterans. And they also showed us how they're making the camouflage nets to put over the different barricades for the soldiers. We also went to a radio station that's housing six refugees and gave them some bags of food. And then we went to a military complex where they let us in and we were able to meet with a lot of the soldiers and pray for them and give them bags of supplies like medical things. And we also gave them trauma kits for out on the front lines. They look this, they've got tourniquets and other things inside of them. And there's another one <clears throat> that's also got different medical supplies from the first kit so that they're well equipped. In addition, we gave them solar chargers and this one's got a flashlight on it. It's got the solar charger part. You can put your phone on it. Um, and in addition to that, we had other ones that these are also solar charged and they're called a torch and they've got a flashlight on them and they can charge their phones here. But in addition to that, they have the Bible, an audio Bible on them in Ukrainian and Russian so they can listen to that when they're on the front line. So all of these things are being taken out to the front lines. We also got to hear a lot of their stories and one in particular was a woman named Victoria and she has two kids and so she got them out into Poland when all of this started and she said it took about 10 days to get them out in the meantime her husband's been on the front lines for quite a while and she is a chief nurse for the military and so that was kind of exciting to actually get to meet a woman as well and everybody's a volunteer in the military so they supply their own uniforms they supply their own medical gear and equipment they supply everything and so it's wonderful to be able to bless them because of your generosity thank you so much for your donations that enables us to do that thank you so much for your prayers uh, we just appreciate you very much and we couldn't do it without you so thank you we have we had 75.